Hey guys, this is part five of the five part series of care and maintenance of a bass clarinet. So sad, last part. But we're cleaning the instrument again. We're polishing, okay? This is a little home remedy that I found that works pretty well. Some of my brass friends showed me this one, okay? So, you can do two things, okay? This one that I'm showing you is a home remedy that I use every once in a while, about every month, to polish up the bell and the neck. Okay. You can also buy some actual polish from the store and just kind of polish it up. Okay. But that's not fun, okay? We like to do it on our own. So, what you are going to do, you're going to take your flower, put a little bit in there, okay, in a cup. That's a little bit too much. In your cup. There you go. Get some flour. Get some salt. Half and half flour, half and half salt. About this much. Then, I'm going to take some vinegar. Ooh, it's flying away, it's really windy out here. Take some vinegar, pour it in here just a little bit while it's filling. You're going to take your toothbrush, the one that I was using earlier to clean the mouthpiece, that part's done, okay? Now we're going to use this to make a nice little paste in here, okay? Look at this. It's already a pasty. So again, half salt to half vinegar. I mean, sorry. Half salt to half flour. Equal parts, okay? With a little splash of vinegar, just to make it a paste, okay? Use a little bit more vinegar because it's not too pasty. see this and you're gonna have your rag on the side okay make sure you have your rag on the side then another glass of water on the side. Gently. let me just do little circular motions all the way around okay the only part you're going to do this for is the bell and the neck those only brass parts of your instrument okay a little bit rub it all around okay rub it rub it rub it Little circle motions, clean this all up, make this look good. Okay, look at this. Okay, this side, clean. This side, get a little more. Okay, clean it all up. Only going to do some of it for the video. You guys know how to use a toothbrush, I think. Now, this part, I like to use a little swab first just to get like all the like gunk off of here after you let it sit for about five to ten minutes, okay? Let it sit first. Then, I'm gonna come off, wipe all this stuff off. Wipe it all off. You don't need any of it anymore. Don't need it all. It did its job, you're done. Okay? Then, usually you'll do this inside, but I'm outside right now. And you'll run it through water, okay? Already you can tell how much better it looks, okay? I, hopefully you can see this. Look how shiny that is. Look how nice that is. I just took off the stuff. You saw how quick that was. This side, gross, yucky, ugly. You see all these little watermarks. Gross. Okay. I'm going to go over here to my little bucket. Okay. Oh, can't really see too much. But I have a bucket down here with some water. I'm going to just rinse it off just a little bit. Careful not to get this little part right here, the cork, wet, okay? We're just getting this part wet. Okay. Rinse it off. Some warm water, okay? I also have warm water right here, but I didn't want to spill all over myself. Then you're going to get a towel. Gently just rub it. Dry it all off. Make sure everything is dry, okay? Make sure everything's dry, clean. Look at this shiny, shiny, shiny. Look at this. Woo! Shiny. My instrument needed this. Wow. Shiny. Beautiful, okay? So you're going to repeat all that with the bell and the neck until it's shiny, okay? 
but that is all that you have me for okay i'm so sorry you guys have to see me go but that's all you guys get to see today of me all right thank you for staying on this whole journey your instrument better be clean better look good reads better be taken care of okay thank you guys